Welcome, welcome. Adam here, the Enduro Diabetic, helping you guys get fit and active and train for some endurance events. Today is new sensor day, and as most of you by now are aware, I am an avid user and big fan of the Freestyle Libra system. Now, I had a little problem with this thing last weekend, in so much as I inadvertently jumped in a swimming pool with this still in my pocket. Now, I have dried it out and... Um, charged it up, switched it on, it appears to be working, however it wouldn't continue with the same sensor that I already have in my arm. It wants to register a new sensor. So today's new sensor day, I've been using my phone for the last couple of days while I've waited for the day, and here it is. So, just for demonstration purposes, this is how easy it is to put in a Libra sensor. I have two parts to it. I simply take open, pop that down, this nice and easy, crack the top, and you can see the actual sensor is inside there, but it's missing the probe. The probe is in here. Put it in, and now you can see, let me just touch this, there is a needle just in the middle there which is what's going to insert the probe. So, super quick, super easy. One thing to pay attention with, if you put anywhere near an at, into an actual muscle, you will know about it when it goes in. So find a bit that's a little bit fatty in between the muscle, is my recommendation. And a quick, easy, one, two, three, press. Remove, voila, it's that simple. Spring loaded, super. One of the many reasons why I love this little thing. And so here we go. The moment of truth. It wants me to start a new sensor. New sensor to start. Boom. New sensor starting up, 60 minutes. <laughs> now, I'm genuinely impressed. That thing's been in a swimming pool, and I didn't jump in and realise and jump out. I jumped in, I sat in there for five minutes, and then got out, and then went, ah, oh, no. So, put it in rice, left it out in the sun, baked it in the car, the battery was completely flattened, I charged it up, it had a little bit of a wobble, but it is up and running. So let's see. In 60 minutes time, we'll see whether it measures my sugar properly. But there you have it. It's that easy, it's that quick. And to be honest, once every two weeks, Cardboard box, two elements of plastic, and an instruction manual. It's not a huge amount of waste. I'm not a big fan of constantly throwing plastic away, but one of those every two weeks in order to maintain your health, I don't think that's a bad trade-off. One thing I've been caught short with in the past with the Freestyle Libra, when you're using it with your mobile phone, is when you register a new sensor, register it with this first because once you register it with this you can then register it with your phone if you register it with your phone first this will not allow you to then register it afterwards and you'll be stuck with just your phone which for 90 percent of people i can't imagine being too much of a problem because you've always got your phone with you but when i'm out doing my training my long endurance sessions this fits nicely into a little pocket somewhere and I can whip it out, scan myself, and I'm happy. It's much more clumsy opening your phone, waiting for the facial recognition, and then clicking opening the app, messing around, and then doing a scan. When you're on your bike or you're running, it's just so quick and easy using this thing. So I like to have this with me on my exercise sessions. I don't necessarily use my phone, which means I have to register this first. I can't stress it enough because at 50 quid a time, when you realize you haven't done it, and then you realize that you need to use this, you've got to put a new sensor in and you've just lost 50 quid. Word to the wise. Right, one hour's time, I'll be back. Actually, before I go, the one thing nobody ever really shows is how you get the old one off. Now, this thing has obviously been attached to me for the last two weeks. And I end up just peeling, 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 peeling. I wonder if you can actually see. That probe is still in my arm there. It slowly comes out. Bingo. Now, if anything's going to hurt, 
It's the damn sticker on that thing. <laughs> oh, sometimes it properly catches skin. You can see there where it has genuinely irritated my skin. Again, it's not something that I notice. Every now and then, it'll like itch a little bit, but it's, it's, it's nothing. Yeah. So there you go, that's how you take it off, nice and easy. It's just like ripping off a stubborn plaster. So, just with the macro lens on there, you can see that is the probe that is inside your arm the whole time. It is. Fascinating to think that that's in there and it causes you no problems. And you can see the battery inside and some of the electronics. It really is a fascinating bit of kit. There you go. Boom, back to me. <laughs> so, one hour's time. Let's see whether this thing works. An hour has gone by. Here we go, the moment, the moment of truth. Will this thing... <laughs> it has. Now, that's a terrible sugar score because I felt like I was going low when I ate some chocolate in the last hour and now my sugar is high. And obviously I've got no visibility on anything that happened previously because it hasn't been working for a couple of days. But... I am well impressed with that. Good solid bit of kit. And I've beaten that to well beyond what it should take. And it still works. Freestyle Libra. I love it. If you want to see a video where I go into more detail about the reasons as to why I love the Libra and the control that it gives me, click on the link. Maybe that side? That side. Um, and you'll be able to see that. I've been Adam, the Enduro Diabetic. Big love. Keep training.